Over the last few years, 4K camera prices have come down dramatically, and I've been recommending the fantastic Panasonic G7 for those who are getting into filmmaking. Thankfully, technology has moved along as well, and with the latest graphics and recently released Ryzen processors, I was able to build a 4K video editing PC for under $700 that performs quite well. If you like those shots and agree that this is one of the best looking budget PCs, let me know by hitting that like button. I'll have the full list of exact parts that I used to build this PC linked in the video description below, and along with this video, we're working on a step-by-step -step build guide to help you build this computer from the ground up and make it easy, even if you've never built a computer before. We're gonna go through all the parts, assembly, installing Windows, and just give you a very nice guide to build this machine. If you don't want to miss out on that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to enable those notifications so you guys get a little ping when that video goes up. Now I have to mention some caveats before we look at performance and before I make some recommendations based on your video editing software. First, the price is just for the computer without accessories and I did shop around to get the best prices. I'll go ahead and list the price I paid per part in the video description. Uh, prices do fluctuate and they go up and down depending on supply and demand and how much stock there is. So if you see a part that costs quite a bit more than I paid for, I would suggest looking for alternatives and I'll go ahead and make some alternative parts just in case some of the parts are out of stock. Second, this is not the best bang for the buck video editing PC. I did a video like that a couple months ago and it's still very relevant. I'll have a card that pops up here and you can also click the video link at the end of this video if you guys wanna check that one out. That's a great machine, but it is quite a bit more expensive and especially with the graphics cards, the high-end ones are really overpriced right now because of cryptocurrency miners. Um, that one is quite a bit higher in price compared to this one. This build is my least expensive PC that will give you a good 4K video editing experience and allow you to edit tough compressed footage and add effects, color corrections, and work with LUTs without any major slowdowns. Along with this video, I'm working on a very high-end 16-core video editing Threadripper build for those that have higher budgets and want the best performance they can get for a reasonable price. So if you're still not subscribed, you know where that button is. At the heart of this build, we have the Ryzen R5 1600 processor. It's the main reason why we can have such good performance for the money as it's six core and 12 threads, costs about $200 with an included and capable CPU cooler. With a click of a few buttons, I overclocked the CPU to 3.8 gigahertz and it matches the performance of CPUs that cost more than twice as much when you factor in having to buy a cooler and more expensive motherboards. I kept mine at 3.8 GHz as it performs well and stays cool, and I wanted to show performance that anybody could get. If you're into tweaking, you can get your CPU to perform even faster than that. We have 16 GB of RAM, which is enough for 4K editing, but you can get better performance by adding more later, or step up to 32 GB right away if your budget allows. You may have noticed that there are two graphics cards in some of the shots. This is the first build that I've done where I couldn't choose one GPU that works best in a price range. After a lot of testing, I found that for this build specifically, if you edit with DaVinci Resolve, it's better to go with the AMD RX 560 4GB version, and if you edit with Premiere Pro, it's better to go with a 1050Ti for about $30 more. I know many people are gonna say, duh, because there is this kind of thought that Premiere Pro needs NVIDIA CUDA technology to work well, but that's simply not true. In my last Ryzen build, the RX 480 was actually faster than the GTX 1070, and it came in at close to half the price, so it really is dependent on your CPU and GPU combo and the current price range that you're working with. Now let's take a look at my standard suite of tests and see how this PC does with video editing. Starting off with stabilization, this PC performs about the same as an Intel build that costs over $1,000. 
Just like in the past three to four years, unless you're editing with Final Cut, you're gonna need some patience if you wanna stabilize 4K footage. My budget 4K build rendered and encoded a five minute project with two LUTs and film grain applied in basically half the real time length using Resolve and about a minute slower using Premiere. Moving over to the same project but in 4K, both programs take just over 11 minutes to render and export. On to the toughest project, four 4K clips scaled into a 4K timeline, each with two LUTs and film grain applied. This computer handles the project much better than my more expensive PC builds I did from a year or two ago. This time, Resolve comes in three times faster and really shows off its efficiency when working on tough projects. I'm honestly quite impressed by how well the system renders and encodes 4K video. Yes, you will get better performance on higher-end computers, but for under $700, there's really no excuse to not be able to edit 4K video, and there's no longer a reason to transcode or edit proxy footage if you're using a computer in this price range. Editing in Premiere Pro, the timeline smoothness is really as good as it gets with this NLE, and you can edit 4K at full resolution with one LUT and film grain applied without dropping any frames. Drop down to one half resolution, which still looks just as good on a 4K monitor, and you can edit the H.264 4K footage with three LUTs and film grain applied without dropping frames, which is great. In DaVinci Resolve 14, using the cheaper RX 560, we can edit 4K footage with four LUTs and film grain applied, and the timeline is buttery smooth. Pretty awesome for under $700. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to share it when you find somebody who's in need of a budget video editing computer. Once again, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications if you guys want to see that step-by-step -step easy build guide for this computer, and also check out that 16-core Threadripper that's going to be insane. If you want to watch my best bang for the buck 4K video editing build, make sure to just click that video right over here, and you guys can check that one out. This has been Max, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.